Welcome to where I call home. I've been roaming these parts since I was old enough to, well, roam. There isn't a mountain or lake out here that hasn't been explored by either me or my dad. I hope that you get a chance to fall in love with Silver Ridge Peaks. If you're anything like me, it won't take long. Good morning. I hope you got a chance to grab a big breakfast before heading out. There's a lot of ground to cover and it's tough on an empty stomach. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be glad to know that I already have a job for you. While things are quiet, I've been using our outpost to store essential supplies. There is an outpost not far from you that has a small stockpile of bottled water and canned goods. I need you to grab some things from this outpost and ferry them over to one of our observation towers. Don't worry. It's not a long journey. You'll be back to hunting in no time. Before now, we've always just used the lakes for drinking water. But ever since Dad got ill, we've had to put emergency measures in place. We always had emergency supplies, of course. But now we need to account for the possibility that our entire water table is polluted. Dad and I are convinced that it's just the one lake, polluted by the old mining sump next to it. But it's taking forever to get tests done, and it's not worth the chance of someone else getting sick. So hello, and welcome back to the Hunt of Call of the Wild. As you can see, we have changed reserve. Uh, we've had uh, quite a few requests to uh, crack on and get on with some more hunting. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And a lot of the requests come with, oh, can we have a look at a different map? Can we go somewhere else as well? And SRP, Silver Ridge Peaks, uh, was one of the ones that was um, often requested for us to go and see. So that is where we are. And we're going to go through this in the same fashion that we were going through late in lakes. We're going to do the do some of the story missions. We'll go off do some free hunting and, and just sort of explore it at a, a nice casual pace. Have some fun with it and uh, see what we can find. So although we have a fair bit out there, let's have a little little spot. Pretty sure we saw some movement over here. So we've got some turkeys. Got some pronghorns, a few pronghorn about. They are frequent on this map. There's a lot, lot of animals on here. This is a good place to come. If you don't know, if you're quite new to the game or you've just not sort of explored it much. This is a great map for coming to earn a bit of money. Got some bison over there. Yeah, it, it seems, and it always has, super populated, super populated. Great place to, uh, to earn a penny. But let's uh, let's follow on over. Let's get this water for this chap and uh, see what we can do for him with regards to that. We'll not worry about shooting anything for a second. We've got all sorts of calls coming out, though, which is great. If we can um, lock any of these into actual zones, that's always good. I think a lot of them are on the move, though. Just trying to see if I can see anything on the horizon as well. I think back when it came out, this was the first map to have the turkeys. I can't remember the levels for the bison. It's been a while. But they get they get big. I think they got to, um, 1,200 kilos. I don't think any of these are very big at all. Yeah, I'm sure they go like 1,100, 1,200 kilos. This is the place. The supplies should be laid out, ready for you to pick them up. We need at least six water bottles, a couple of cans of peaches or whatever we've got there. And there should be a stack of flyers. Grab them too. Okay, so we'll get them for him and we'll go and sort of deliver that wherever he wants that. There's another turkey up there. It's been very tempting to just try and shoot these. But I think I'd need to be a little bit closer anyway. They are fun to shoot though. They are fun to shoot, especially when you get a massive herd. But we'll we'll trigger this. We'll give ourselves a point and everything to uh, to be doing. 
our first outpost. My loadout is exactly the same as what we had previously. I haven't changed anything, so we'll keep it at that. So we want us to grab the flyers and stuff. You got everything? Fantastic. The tower isn't too far to go from here. Ship door. All right, the tower's not too far to go. It's 600 meters. Half a kilometer, half a click. We've got more bison. Look at them. So what size have we got on there? One at the back looks... A little bit bigger if I can't get that one to register. I haven't, I haven't fired at anything since our last, our last outing, where we, uh, where we missed the uh, the white tail from about ten yards. So uh, don't expect no uh, amazing shots today. I think on the approach we've uh, scared off our pronghorn. Well, not, not overly jittery. Is there a male anywhere? The male probably ran a lot earlier on. We'll leave them be. We'll leave them be. Well, we found the male, but they're, they are travelling, so I'm not sure how good this shot will be. I can't imagine it'll be very good. They aren't normally. If we can get him to do one of those little stop steps, that might be all right. Oh, thought he was going to do it for me then. Oh, he's down. How good a shot that was. <laughs> we'll find out. Turkey over there as well. Well, it's got a good splash of jam. Bronze. Oh, it's the wrong weapon. Class 3. Oh, I thought they were a 4. Well, that ruined it, didn't it? He wouldn't have been anything special. He wouldn't have made it to gold, but... Got some pretty cool markings on him. I like that. These are some pretty cool looking little deer. I do like the pronghorns. We've got level up for that as well. And the level up gave us a perk point. Now I'm not sure if we were trying to get into anything. Focus shot. Holding breath increases the zoom while using rifles. With, oh, we're not worried about iron sights, are we? I think I was trying to get into archery, wasn't I? So full draw, bow recovery, or in, uh, increase accuracy of all bows when shooting from the hips. That's good for crossbows. But we're going to... We're going to put it there, I think. So we uh, get less fatigue and less wobble when we do some bow hunting. Now, if I remember rightly, the, uh, the sensible and boring way to get to this lookout tower is actually along this road. That's quite a steep hill up there, so... I'm just going to jog along here. I'll spot what I can. Um, if there's anything of interest, I'll bring you guys back. But if not, I will see you at the uh, the lookout tower. Well, we've had nothing notable along the route. We've not even had a call to say that we've scared anything. But in the past, I don't think I've ever had anything at all you found the tower. along this side of the map. I'm sure there is, but I've never had it. Stash the supplies. Oh, you should hang on to a couple of the flyers, though. <laughs> We'll stick the supplies up here for him and we'll have a little look about. Absolutely beautiful, this map. It, is, it really is. It, you, can, you can see why it's such a popular map. And there are some very stark differences in the different areas of the, uh, of the reserve. The biomes, I guess. But they're not quite biomes. They're not completely different. But yeah, over here, I don't think I've ever really had anything the only time i really come to this side of the map in the past is to do this story mission and sometimes i've had uh pronghorns uh just up there's a little path up ahead sort of between the trees or something i've had them sort of spawn there a lot and i've sort of farmed them a little bit in the past but other than that never really never really come down here That tower should have everything it needs now. How's the view from up there? It's great Stop. to have a hunter like yourself around. I'm grateful for your help with the supplies. I can't wait to hear your Silver Ridge hunting stories. Things have been quiet here recently. But with a hunter of your caliber on the reserve, we're going to show folks that this is still the best place in the Rockies to hunt.
Plus, you're not the only one working with us. We were able to convince Remy Warren to visit, and he's been logging his solo hunts out here for a week or so. He's got a pretty decent following online, so hopefully he's impressed with the reserve. When I proposed using social media to promote the reserve, the board were a little hesitant. But they're giving us a chance to try something new, and I'm sure it'll be worth it. I'm sure it will too. I'm sure he's going to start talking again in a minute as well. So I suppose you were wondering why I wanted you to grab the flyers, right? There are people who come out here just to visit the lake. I'm fine with people standing on the shore, but until we know exactly what's going on, we need to keep people out of it. I had these flyers made up so we can pin them to our bulletin boards. There's a trail that leads straight to the lake, so I'd like you to pin up one of these flyers at the trailhead. Now, the flyers cover the basics, heavy metals, mining waste, and why to avoid diving in. It's not much, but until we know more, it's all we have. The lake is beautiful, and it's always pulled in visitors. It still looks the same as it ever did. Maybe even better, now that it's calm and peaceful. But now, I can't look at it without seeing what it did to my dad. Or what it's doing to the reserve. People discover that we have one contaminated lake and assume that the reserve isn't worth visiting anymore. So far, the local wildlife seems okay. But our bookings for visitors, and especially hunters, have dried up. I have a few contingency plans that I want to try out. I'm a little nervous, though, as our board can be a little... conservative. And if my ideas don't involve pulling in hunters, it can be really tricky to get them on board. It was easier to convince the board to invite yourself and Remy into the reserve, given that you're both hunters with good reputations. I'm glad you said yes. Okay, well, let's have a look at our survey before we uh, chats on anymore. Lovely views. Oh, it's going to show us, is it? Okay. I forget that it does that. It's been a while. So that's the um, outpost that we started at. We're going to go here. We've got an outpost up here that we can go to. This is a nice little looking spot that is as well. We'll go to our next marker. I can't imagine that we're going to see much along the way again. So we'll sort of hoss over there, progress this along a little bit. So this is the trailhead he wants us to find. Now, sometimes down here is where I've had herds and herds of pronghorns and even um, bison down here. Now one thing that I do love about this map is it has quite a few mule deer and mule deer are one of my favorites to hunt. I've never had a diamond, been pretty close a few times but I don't think I've ever had a diamond so you know we might be able to uh, get ourselves a diamond in this uh, in this playthrough. One down, one to go. Keep following the trail to the lake. I have heard a turkey call if you do come across some pronghorns, you need to remember to uh, change out to a different weapon. I think we've got a... Uh, yeah, two, two to six. Four. Four. And a one. Yeah, okay. So if the pronghorn do turn up, we'll use the right rifle next time. So our first good watering hole is coming into view. So we'll have a little spot on it. I've not checked my info pages on times for drinking and whatnot on the map yet i'll remember to do that for the next one so that we can uh, can hunt specifics then but it's, it's usually such a populated map that there's always something somewhere like if they're not here at this at this drinking point there's one just a little bit way over a hill there they're probably there or there's another one a little bit further up or they'll be grazing or feeding somewhere in between hopefully they don't let me down with this <laughs> this cycle this information take a look at the water if i hadn't told you would you suspect that the lake was dangerous no no i wouldn't no, no more than beyond any lake might be a little bit dangerous i wouldn't have suspected anything mate looks beautiful oh we've got stuff just over there we go oh there they are the mule deer they are just awesome. That's their big boy. 
can't remember sizes off the top of my head. Where are you going? In the past, I've had them resting and grazing up in here, but the uh, the devs move move times and zones about quite frequently, so I wouldn't expect anything to be where I've had it in the past. He's not a bad size. Now they are super sensitive, like they they see and hear and smell everything. Be nice to get them out there. But their zone, whatever one they're going for. So there's nothing nothing massive here, I don't think. Again, I'll have to check. I'm sure they I'm sure they go into quadruple figures. Pretty positive on that. Remy Mule gone. That's still on the move. Should I put this poster on for him? Let's do that. We might not be able to monitor the lake 24-7, but at least now people have been warned. Thanks for taking care of that. It's such a strange feeling to be publicizing the very issue that is hurting us at the moment. I know it's the responsible thing to do, but it still feels slightly like self-sabotage. Our summer season has already started, and normally this whole area would be covered with hikers. I've only seen a handful of people in the reserve recently. I'm sure that things will pick up eventually. But every day, I'm reminded that my dad was the major driving force behind this place. It's just bad timing, I suppose. We'd had some other issues with one of the board members. But that's in the past. The best thing to do is to keep pushing forward. I've got some big plans to help turn things around. Who knows? Maybe we'll have this place at full strength by the time my dad gets back in the saddle. I'll do my best to help, mate. Do my best to help. I'm sure he's going to start chatting again because they're going to keep reeling out jobs for us. I'm talking a lot about family stuff, aren't I? I suppose work and family are the same thing for me, you know? I've been watching my dad do this job since I was a kid. Let's change the subject, shall we? I've got a job that I'd like you to take care of. The big plans I mentioned before. One of these plans is a little passion project of mine. We're going to need some gear. Repelling gear, actually. And I have stashed a few bags at one of the nearby outposts. And I'd like you to head over there and pick them up. When you can. I've been doing adventure sports for about ten years or so now. It started with bouldering and rock climbing while I was on a high school trip. Last year, uh, I got an accreditation as an instructor. And I was planning on teaching classes. When my dad got ill... I'll put it on the back burner. But now, I think we have a good opportunity to commit to it. Unfortunately, I'm a little too busy to teach classes just now. But one of my base jumping friends, Sammy, took the same course as me. So she's going to lead the class instead. So I've got in on this nice one here. Trophy rating 244. Again, I don't know what I'm looking for on Max on this. I don't recall. But he's, he's so close. I need him to just spot me a little bit. Stand up. If he could, please. That'd be nice. Okay, here they go. They start to speak. He's still down, though. There he is. Oh. Please be good patient with that one didn't rush it i was nice and patient something i'm not very good at it's a gold he's a little ways off he's only just in gold i thought he was a little bit better than that lovely shot right through though hit everything perfect shot absolutely perfect let's have a little uh, closer look at him He's nice. Yeah, it's a nice, nice clean shot on him. I'm going to save him for now, because he's probably going to be my best one for a while. And he's had to go in and replace an, an orange Roosevelt elk that I had, so... He's in there now. I need to go into my lodge and sort that out. So anyway, yeah, he wants us to go over there, so uh, one and a half clicks. It's to uh, sort out some repelling gear for some uh, bouldering. So we'll we'll hoss our way over there. Uh, again, if there's anything of sort of great interest, I'll bring you guys back. I just want to get through these early sort of missions and get that done. But it's nice to have a little a little hunt along the way. Although I think it's starting to lose daylight, I think. So we'll we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can find.
down by the water's edge. We've still got bison. I think they're on the move, though. What's this? They're drinking. Surprised they haven't moved out. And again, we want to try and get the males if we can. Then we could might maybe stick one in behind the lung there. No, I think we missed again. Doesn't look to be injured. Oh, we did get him. It was a, it was a different one running off. Oh dear. So we'll, we'll claim this one. It was a silver? Oh, we hit him in the head, <laughs> right in the brain. But it's it's not it's not ruined the trophy for us, which is weird. But we still got the trophy. Strange one. So, oh, he was facing the was he facing the opposite way? How did we hit him in the head from that way? I thought we were sneaking in behind a lung. Strange. Okay. Well, we'll accept that. Need to go see what happened to the other one, whether we shot that or not. There's a brown bear on the run as well. Keep you going. Keep you going. Right. Now just to see if we, we hit that other one. Don't think I did. I did. Hit it in the back. And that might be the only shot that did hit it. So the map's not showing any more downed animals in the area, although we do still have the blood, but it is very low and it takes a lot to take a bison down. You really want to be going for heart shots. Or brain shots, apparently. Um, but we do have some more pronghorn in the area. A couple of little males there. That's the better of the two. We've got some... It's in 94 and 87, so that's the, the bigger of the males. See so if we can maybe get a little bit closer. We might be able to have one of them. I think they're going to start coming towards me. I'd be quite happy if he stayed where he was. I don't think that's a good shot, is it? Oh, there's loads of them. Not a good shot at all. Oh, it's saying it was a vital organ. I've also got the bison's uh, blood trail right next to me, so he's still bleeding out. I'm surprised he's bleeding this far. So I wonder what we caught here. If the second shot that I put out went into him, he should be down pretty close. So maybe we just clipped a bit of lung. There he is. This is the wrong direction from what we're supposed to be heading, but we'll, uh, we'll allow it. Oh, he was a gold. Where did we get? Oh, no, it was a good shot. It was a good shot. Bit of spine, but because of the, you know, the 243 being an absolute monster, <laughs> it got the kill for us. Um, what are we for ratings on there? So a 98. So he's not too bad. He's not too bad. Nice markings again. I don't think we'll save. We won't save because these should be a little bit easier to diamond. So we're not going to save that. We'll just accept that. We can go bigger. And we've got some angry bison as well coming in on us. You might have heard them calling while we were looking at the previous. He's aggressive. If he comes at us, we could have a chance to finally drop one. I think he's getting stuck on trees. Come on, get aggressive. Come at me. Come at me, bro. There he goes. So I think that first one should be lung. Because they just under the chin as they walk. If you can get a really nice view of them, and they their head sways left and right, and it just opens up underneath where you can you can catch them. Animal shot more than two times. Is this one that we shot earlier? It is. Oh dear. So first shot. Oh, we just missed it. But you can see what I was aiming for. You want them to get their head up. You can sneak in just underneath. I may need to go to a more powerful rifle to take these. Although this does take down a 9, like this, the 7mm may not be quite enough. You have to get a little bit closer or really hope for an easy uh, side-on double lung. Although it's hard to get a double lung, single lung, and just wait for it. But it's nice to get that hard shot. Needed him to pick his head up. I think because he was aggressive, might have been why the head was down further. 
if they're if they're not aggressive and they're a little bit complacent the head sits a little bit higher and it'll swing left and right and you just sneak that shot in so here's what it is the second one you know got us the the trophy shot with all that gunfire i can't imagine there's much left in the area so i'm quite happy to stomp around up here and again in the past this has been a nice area for me to get the mule deer grazing up around here so hopefully uh, that'll come in mule deer pronghorn on these open areas up here love a bit of grazing but i'm going to just uh, trundle my way up there it's got less than a kilometer to go so on my route we've had turkeys giving us a holler a couple of bears from over that way and there was a small herd of pronghorns but i've let them go through we've come across this uh, a tree has come down upon this person's tent how unlucky is that that's pretty cool so yeah, i don't think there's much around us at the minute i have been marching along so you know they do scare but something off in the distance there's a little buildable blind over there now as well as the bears on this one we also have oh what we got down here more bison um i think they're ma are they mountain i'll say mountain lions we've got we've got some sort of big cat on here if you consider a mountain lion a big cat there is there is another predator i forget what it is it's been so long since i've been here so here's a four two Oh, there's some more over here. Three female. So where was the other one? Two, three, and four. So he's just having a little stroll. Now that obviously what we'd like to do is get just in under there. See if that'll do anything for us. If we can put a second win in, maybe put him down, that'd be nice. We don't have the uh, skill that sort of tells us, oh, there is telling us the health. He looks fine, actually. Have we even hit him? Not the right one. Don't think we hit him. Got him that time. Yeah, it's going down. Don't want to go again, because there'll be three again. But yeah, I felt sure that first one was good. Just the other side of this war again. There's another small herd. There are plentiful. Like I say, there is there's so so many opportunities to hunt here on Silver Ridge Peaks, and everything seems to come in big herds. Plentiful, plentiful. Uh, so we've got one seven one, and there was another male that's not coming up for me now but yeah and the other herd is still up in the woods up here somewhere they, they didn't seem to run far but we've got them marked up so it's three three herds of plains bison that we know drink here so that's a good spot and they, they pay good money that's why it's easy to uh, get your pennies in round here just in case there's any extras there's six out of that herd there's a lot so he's still presenting to a side on. They're still banging around up there. Let's collect you. Oh, he's nice. He's a gold. It's not bad size gold either. So for oh the first shot. It hit the bone. Oh dear. Shame. I thought it was a little bit above her. I thought. But at least we know the um the shoulder blade. The patella? Yeah, the patella. The shoulder blade isn't that big. So as long as you can get through the meat, you can hit them lungs pretty good. But I was I was trying to be greedy and get a bit of lung and heart. Uh, second shot into the liver. Bit of stomach, bit of flesh. But that got us what we needed. Uh, I'm going to save him, so I'm going to have to find something to replace because it might take a little while to get a, a, a big, big one. And he'll override a mallard. So that's uh, probably an improvement. I think we'll leave them be. We'll leave them be. We'll, uh, we're still trying to get this. It's still uh, 300 meters away. Yeah, the bison aren't too bright. The uh, <laughs> the herd that we shot from like come back already. And it's the male who's first back in. They don't move very quick. You can, you can almost run them down. 
and hunt them on mass is is it's quite often pretty easy to clear out a bison herd if that's what you want to do if you want to make a lot of money get yourself some bisons and just chase them they do tend to come back as long as it's sort of in the time so there's some more in front of us still as long as it's within their time they tend to just keep coming back we gotta be careful though because they do get aggressive and we don't want to get wiped out this close to our objective the gear is in here i packed it into a couple of backpacks it shouldn't be too heavy here we can do that we shall uh open up the outpost though gives us our fast travel and all everything else again for that very first job where i trekked all the way up the hill along the road could easily have um gotten a a quad out and, and shot off and, and done that if that's what you wanted to do Got everything. there's a good rock face nearby that sammy can use to teach her beginners if i recall correctly you also have some mountain climbing experience <laughs> i get it those mountain goats aren't easy to catch oh i see yeah we've got mountain goats here as well face. if you can get those ropes nice and secure it'll save sammy some time and help the class let's get this done for sammy <gasps> oh he's gonna run away gonna run away see they spook so quick oh i think he was traveling as well i don't think that was his zone but we'll have a little look around and see if there's anything to mark him up oh no there's a, there's a herd here just don't think they're coming back so just need to to find what they've got I'm not going to bother shooting the females so is this them or is this the pronghorn oh that's them nice nine of them beautiful and a bear why not can you tell the difference between this and and the lakes this is just just overflowing especially early on like on the first trip to Leighton lakes we didn't spot animals this frequent we didn't get the kills as frequent truth be told I've wanted to start an extreme sports group here for a long time, but the old chairman of the board pushed back against anything that wasn't hunting. He was very old-fashioned, though. The patriarch of the Simpkins Electronics Empire. He even forced his vegan animal rights activist son, Timothy, to come with him on hunting trips to Africa. Accused the activist of brainwashing his son. The family reputation around here dropped quite dramatically when my dad caught Timothy drinking and dealing drugs inside the reserve. Simpkins actually used his power on the board to keep my dad quiet. But the next time my dad caught Tim in the reserve, he wasn't just dealing drugs. He had been poaching. Dad called it in without even telling Simpkins Sr. Of course, he was furious. Tried to get my dad fired, actually. But all credit to the board. They stuck with my old man. All these changes I want to make will hopefully account for the loss of the Simpkins' money and influence. This is just a start, too. I'm proposing snowboarding and extreme skiing for the winter. I've got some friends who I'd love to invite over to shoot some videos. Could be fun, don't you think? Yeah, if anyway, I cup of tea. If the repelling goes well and makes a little money, I think the old folks on the board will start to come around. Can only but hope, my friend. Only but hope. Just over here, just a few feet. I think there's two of these. Like Silver Ridge is one of the few maps that I did a couple of the, the little missions for. Just because when you first come in, it's all boom. Off you go, go do this, drop this off. So I did. I can't remember how far into them I got, but not very far. Myself. Don't let the ropes down. We don't need them getting all tangled up. I really appreciate your help with this one. It's been an uphill battle to get to this point, and I'm disappointed that I can't be there to run the classes myself. If I'm being honest, I have a lot invested in the classes going well. There's still some people on the board who are friends with the old chairman, and it seems pretty clear that they don't like me proposing new ideas. Anyway, I'll let Sammy know that we're good to go. I trust her to take care of it. Up high, down low, complete. We're getting paid for this as well, and XP. 
I'm sure he'll start talking in a minute. Hey, so listen. There might be a situation going on at the moment, and I could really use your help to check it out. It's not just gold and silver mining that took place out here. Even more recently, there was a working uranium mine in the area. Sounds safe. When the reserve was established, we took responsibility for keeping it safe. Anyway, the old uranium mine is very rarely a problem. But recently, it appears that one of our neighbors, a guy I went to school with actually, has been spotted camping out around the mine. His name's Bobby Joe Jefferson. He's normally just a nuisance, driving his quad bike around and setting up little shooting ranges with tin cans. He makes the deer and turkeys extra skittish, so the hunters hate him. Can you head over to the mine and see what's going on? He's allowed to hike and camp there, but I don't want him going anywhere near the entrance itself. Okay, I think he's finished. I think that's, I think that's what he wants us to do. Uh, but we're going to leave it there for today uh, for our first little trip on Silver Ridge Peaks, belovedly known as SRP. Um, yeah, I think it's all right. We've got a few few kills, a couple of misses. Some I'll probably keep in, some I won't as we were going along. Uh, it's going to take me a little while to get my eye back in because I've been hunting, like I say, for, for a while. Uh, but this one is absolutely beautiful. Uh, we'll go see what old Billy Bob Joe Jacob Redneck is uh, up to next time out and we'll try and get some more kills and um, try and get some better shots in. But hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.